Political science, the study and knowledge of politics, of affairs of a polis, city-state, or in general, the state. But what is the state? To answer this question, I would like to invite you to an exercise in Socratic dialectic. Imagine the state as individuals. Emperors, kings live in special places, palaces, sit on thrones, wear special symbols like crowns. Well, it's easy to identify them as special people, but this also holds for, say, presidents or prime ministers. They use national emblems like flags, special anthems, and other things more. You can identify them as members of an inner circle. Or imagine the state as system. With the roots in antiquity, we distinguish between monarchy, oligarchy, and democracy, the rule of the one, the few, and the many, but we also know of revolutions, coup d'etats, palace revolts, is the state identical with a respective political system? Imagine a state as function. Police, government, public schools, tax office. In many of these places, people with authority wear uniforms. And even without uniforms, these places are often marked as special. In more abstract terms, we can distinguish between legislative, executive and jurisdiction, a distinction that goes back to the Enlightenment philosopher Montesquieu. What matters to all of us is security and taxation. On a daily level, we are confronted with these things. Imagine the state as force. Laws without enforcement are pointless. Laws need law enforcement. Laws are also followed because of the authority of the institution issuing them. Let's compare for a second the state with the mob. They have lots of parallels. They use violence, if needs be. They protect the people, or at least claim to protect the people, and other more such things. In one respect, they differ, however. The state claims to be legitimate. Imagine the state as organization. An organization can be privately managed or monopolistically run. The state today belongs certainly to the second category. In contrast to privately run and managed organizations, the state is public, that means non-private. We expect from a private institution to generate profit, not so the state. The state consumes profit, wealth we could say, generated elsewhere. A private company, in order to play a role and continue to play a role in the market, must be aggressive. Aggressive is not necessarily a negative thing. The state, however, pretends to be non-aggressive, defensive. It defends and protects, at least on paper, the rights and property of its citizens. The state has no interest of its own if we go with the premise that the state defends and protects the rights and property of its citizens. The state is also free of ideology. Different people have different gods. The state is its own god. If you still don't understand what the state is, or are interested in a more in-depth discussion, I would like to refer you to my lecture on the nature of the state. Please visit us at www.bastiainstitute.org or my own webpage www.hubertlurch.com Thank you very much for listening.